You may remember that after Trump was impeached back in December, Nancy Pelosi didn't pass the articles on to the Senate. Instead, she chose to hold on to them tight, tighter than Mike Pence's sphincter in a room with two women. <laughs> yeah, temptation often passes through the back door. <laughs> but, but today, after a month of tension, Pelosi finally announced she's handing the articles over to the Senate so that they can hold the trial. And I don't know what was going on with Nancy today, but at her press conference, she seemed a little spaced out. Good morning, everyone. This is a very important day for us. And as you know, I reference temporal markers that our founders and our poets and others have used over time uh, to place us in time to emphasize the importance of time, because everything is about time. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of timing, it feels like Pelosi's edibles just kicked in at the wrong moment there. <laughs> what was that? All of us are just clocks telling time. <laughs> we all have hands and faces <laughs> and little tiny batteries. Now, I, I think, I think the point Pelosi was trying to make is that she feels that after a month of waiting, now is the right time to pass impeachment to the Senate. But handing over the articles of impeachment isn't as simple as handing over your mom to a nursing home. No, an occasion like this <laughs> calls for a little ceremony. They are going to be marching the articles from the House chamber, through the statuary hall, through the rotunda, along the second floor of the Capitol, past the old Senate chamber, through the Ohio clock corridor, and then eventually to the Senate chamber. Those documents now are, are being taken from the House of Representatives through Statuary Hall. They'll be going into the Capitol rotunda uh, to the Senate to present the articles of impeachment. Mr. President, I have been directed by the House of Representatives to inform the Senate the House has passed H. Res. 798, a resolution appointing and authorizing managers for the impeachment trial of Donald John Trump. President of the United States. So, we're all just gonna pretend nobody invented email? <laughs> Is that what's happening? It's 2020, just send it as a PDF. <laughs> These people are marching the articles down the hallway. <laughs> it looks like the most morose pizza delivery ever. <laughs> That'll be 24.99. <laughs> and just as an aside, what was up with that graphic? What was that from the news, huh? <laughs> We don't need to see an arrow making love to the Senate chamber to understand how people enter a room. They're walking across the building. It's a straight line. It's a hallway. We get it. <laughs> so now... So now that the Senate has the articles of impeachment, the big fight is now going to be about whether or not the trial will include new witnesses and new evidence. Because, you see, just yesterday, we learned new details about Trump and his shady dealings with Ukraine. The new evidence collected by congressional investigators comes from Lev Parnas, an associate of Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, 59 pages of records, including text messages, emails, and handwritten notes, including one scrawled on hotel stationery that reads, quote, get Zelensky to announce that the Biden case will be investigated. And there's a letter from Giuliani requesting a meeting with Ukraine's then-president-elect Zelensky, emphasizing Giuliani was working in his capacity as personal counsel to President Trump and with his knowledge and consent. No, seriously? They wrote down the plot of their crime and then kept it? <laughs> that is a literal paper trail. Why would you do that? <laughs> what, were they just hanging around like, you have to keep the receipts? Like, isn't that taxes? No, no, it's for crimes, too. You have to keep them. <laughs> Only Donald Trump would hire henchmen who are also into scrapbooking. Like, they're like a bunch of criminal Martha Stewarts, you know? Also known as Martha Stewarts. So, 